Welcome to another video by Empire Vape Shop. Um, today we're reviewing the Maus tank by CCI, M-A-U-S, Maus. Um, Dustin hit me up one day and he was like, hey, check out this sweet freaking tank. It is the end all be all, the TFV4 killer. You're gonna love it. Um, and I saw him the next day and I hit it and uh, it's pretty banging. Uh, my TFV4 is down and I'm rocking it on the, the uh, this guy. I haven't touched mine in like a week now. It's been a week. It's been about a week. Yeah, that's saying something. Yeah, I was awful. All these new tanks come out. We try to get, we try to test everything out so that we're not putting shitty products on the shelves for you guys. So we like to know what we're vaping on. So we do try them all, and I always go back to my TFV4. I try this tank. I go back to the TFV4. I try this tank, etc. I tried the mouse, which had a lot of hype about it. It's got a cool little. We'll talk about the manual in a minute, but it's got some cool stuff in the manual that talks about why it's, what it is. This little guy right here, including the Super Baller Top Fill System. Which Super we will, Baller. We will get into Super that. Super Baller. But it really is, for me, an amazing piece. And what I like, you may not like. So it's all subjective here. That's one really important thing to remember when we're talking about tanks. Just because we say it's fucking awesome doesn't mean that you're going to think it's awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. It's pretty awesome. Super Baller, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like a warmer vape. I like to have lots of airflow and I like my vapor production. It's just the way I vape. So if you're a lung hitter, you're probably not gonna, uh, mouth the lung hitter, you're probably not gonna like this tank. Um, it's got a great big wide chuff cap on it. It's super, super airflow. But the really big thing about this that interested me and, and drew me to it was that you can rock this airflow wide open and I mean, it's healthy. <laughs> it's very healthy. And it doesn't mute the flavor any. It doesn't kill your flavor. So that was a big thing for me. Uh, the coil heads, they're 0.2 ohm coil heads that are in this guy. And they last, I, my first one lasted me five days and I either rated up to 120 watts. I put it on a DNA 200 at 200 just because that's you the type to. of shit that I do. You have to. And so I had vaped it at 200 for a couple of evenings and the coil had lasted me five days before I put another one in. And that's saying something because as a lot of you know, we've heard a lot of people with issues about the TFV4 coils, which is another comparable high wattage tank. Some of them are burning out in two to three days, depending on which one you're using and what wattage you're vaping on. So. Um, with that said, the mouse I think is going to be a, um, it's going to stay around for a while and I highly recommend it to people who like lung hits and a much warmer vape. Speaking of. And flavor. It's got good flavor. And it chucks. It chucks. So let's go in, let's jump right into it. We're jumping right in it. Here's the mouse unboxing. You're going to pull the lid off. Here comes the awesome booklet. Super baller top fill system of the mouse. We're greeted with seals. We gotta have extra silicone. Um, there's an extra insulator in here and a whole bunch of rubber. Love seeing that. Um, tank, spare glass, um, an extra cap. Um, the cap's for 510s. Uh, after trying a couple, I really just like to stick with this guy. This thing's huge. Extra coil in the box um, with this one. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So unscrewing, the coil will sometimes get stuck in the stem, which is all coming right apart. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's huge, huge coil. Can you see in there? Big wicking holes, big threads, huge airflow. Um, let's see what's in here. Pull off this top screen. Nobody likes splatter. Boom. Look at this cotton. Dual coil action. Organic. She's looking sexy. This stuff's awesome. And there's still some in there. There's actually a shield. Um, with two grooves and another layer of organic cotton in there. So that's pretty sweet. Great looking coil. So base, protruding 510, you can put it on a hybrid. Uh, love seeing that. Um, there's actually a Delrin spacer in there, keeping things cool. Pops right on, pops right off. Um, and that's it, that's the mouse. Spare coil in there. It's a good thing I just ruined the last coil. What's up guys, and we are back. That was a close up of the mouse by Cloud Chasers Incorporated. 
as I said before, it's um, it's a heavy hitter and it's going to be in my vaping repertoire for Arsenal. quite Arsenal. Arsenal. That we'll use that word from now on. Arsenal. It. Uh, it's in the Arsenal. Shh, shh. It's in the Arsenal. I love it. I love it. The mouse is awesome. The mouse is really awesome. It's been perfect. And another thing uh, we didn't mention before is that it's not a huge juice hog like a lot of these other sub ohm clear monsters that are out right now. It's thirsty, as any sub ohm tank is, but it's not TFB4 status thirsty. It, um, it holds four mils of liquid, so I'll fill it up. It lasts me a good couple three hours the way I vape and that's pretty on an extreme level um, your average everyday vapor it's gonna fuck yourself <laughs> it's gonna probably last you I mean you're gonna get a good six eight hours out of a tank that's probably a huge lie depending all of our watchers I get like one yeah me too <laughs> it's a pig. for me it's a pig because I like to vape but yeah it's, it's better than it's better than lying. most it's a pig it's, it's better than most but if you're wailing on it at I'm running what 985 watts on the 0.25 coil, and you're chucking. It's a pig, but they all are, and we know that. But it's it's not it's not as bad as the TFV4 though. But if you like flavor, and you like a tank, and you like dripping, and you like baller top tilt system, boom, fill, Whoop. and back in, and you're Whoop. done. You're good. This Whoop. is the tank for you.